Hello friends in today's episode let's explore the world of Stapelia gigantea the incredible carrion flower let's stick and learn more Stapelia gigantea is a spineless succulent with a four angled multi branched stems and a large star shaped flower it grows up to 1 foot tall with a spread of up to 3.3 feet if grown in the ground the green stems are initially upright but tend to become more scrambling with only the tip growing upright now let's jump into some important tips and tricks for these beautiful succulents these plants prefer several hours of bright indirect light each day avoid direct sun since this can burn the foliage they are drought tolerant and will let you know when they are thirsty by the softness of their stems and a slight droop as far as soil is concerned these plants require a gritty shampley draining soil mixture a cactus or succulent soil is ideal Soil can be amended with sand or fine pumice up to 50% to improve drainage and gritty texture. Stapelia gigantea has a typically watering needs for a succulent. It's best to use soak and dry method and allow the soil to dry out completely between waterings. These plants are extremely drought tolerant, storing lots of water in their stems. These plants prefer warm temperatures. Between 70 degree Fahrenheit and 90 degree Fahrenheit is ideal. They are cold intolerant and should be kept indoors once night time as temperatures consistently fall below 50 degree Fahrenheit. Next comes fertilization. These plants do not require fertilizer. To refresh the soil or give the plant a boost, it's okay to feed them monthly with a fertilizer specifically formulated for cacti and succulents. Avoid fertilizing during late fall and winter. This succulent is known for having one of the largest flowers in the plant kingdom. Flowers are typically red or yellow with maroon stripes. Flowers have wrinkled appearance and silky texture and are covered in fine hair. These flower bloom in the fall. The foul odor of these flowers produce has been compared to the smell of rotting meat and attracts flies, which are the primary pollinator of this plant. These plants don't require much in terms of maintenance. Repot once every 2 to 3 years i hope my video got you pumped up and filled with excitement do let me know in comment section if you have any questions related to this plant 